Hello, my friends. It's time for another fantastic Revit tip. All right. <clears throat> so, well, I didn't make a Revit tip last week because I had a stomach bug. And I'm telling you, I think I'd rather, rather run with scissors than have another stomach bug like that one. Woo, buddy! All right. <clears throat> Hopefully, you never, ever, ever get one. You don't want to wish that stuff on your worst enemy. All right? So, anyways. So, here we are. Today's Revit tip is about how to turn stuff off that's above you, namely stairs. And this has come up twice, two times here in the last month. And so I thought, you know what? That's it. I'm making a Revit tip to show you what to do to get those turned off. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen and we will go from there. So when I will share my screen share. There we go. All right. Now we're up and running. <clears throat> so let me go to our little building. Here it is. It's our fantastic little architect's office. I probably need to expand this architect's office a little bit to get some bigger plans going on here, and I think I will. But for now, here's the plan of it, the floor plan. You guys are familiar with this. You come in the front door, <clears throat> okay? You got yourself a little lobby and a receptionist sitting there. And there's a conference room off to the light and a little, off to the left. And there's a little bit of a bathroom and a waiting area. And then you go up the stairs to go to some of the architect's offices or open stair plan. It's an open plan up there just to, to do some architect work. But I've decided, let's just suppose I want to build out the back, okay? I'm not gonna design it right now. I'm not even gonna draw out the back. Let's just say I am gonna have a patio up back. I'm gonna hit create similar on this door. I'm gonna stick a door right, uh, right there. Bam, door going right out the back. I'm gonna probably have to move my seating, my two little seats that I got right there. See those? I'm gonna rotate those 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna move them right over here. And it looks like I have duplicate information. Wow, look at that. I had to delete those two extras that were sitting there. Who knew there were two more sitting right on top? Okay, so here, my friends, trying to, there's my little chair. This is my new seating area, my waiting area for my reception over here. And there's a door going out and there's a stair up, but the stairs kind of in the way and I can't really see my, my seating area and I can't really dimension this well. What if I had a little coffee table there for my clients and whatnot? I think the stair is in the way. Anybody else? Anybody, raise your hand if you think the stair is in the way in this plan. Okay. The idea is to show that there's a stair there and it Revit automatically dashes things that are above you like the stair so that you know it's there. But if I don't want it there, I could build a closet under here I need to have a clear path here. So let me just show you. I do have a call out around this stair. And if I go to my call out, it is showing all the dimensions that it takes to build the stair. And I've worked out the number of treads, and the number of risers so that it works. So I don't honestly need them here on the first floor plan, crowding out the view. You guys with me? Okay. So I know some of you know this and you're like, why is he wasting his time showing it? But it's, came, it's come up twice now. And so I want you guys to know how to turn those off. You do not need them. But you don't just click one button. Let me show you how this works. If you hit the G on your keyboard, okay, brings up this dialog box that we're all familiar with. And on the models category, I want you to scroll down to stairs, I'm gonna bring it over here closer to center. Scroll down to stairs and hit the little X and expand it. There's a handful of things here. Take note, friends, that the first five items 
have a bracket in front of them that says above, and that means it's something above you, okay? Down here, we've got the supports are on, the treads and the risers are on, the, the riser lines themselves are on, the outline of the stair is on, the nosing is on. That's so that we can see the stairs. Let me just get it out of the way. Can't just get it out of the way, can I? Okay, I'm gonna put it over there. Look, you've got the, the outline goes around these stairs. The riser lines are here. The um, the the um, the treads are here. The what else is here? The nosings. You guys see the little dash right there? That is indicating that there's a nosing there. There's all these pieces of the stair are important to us when they're supposed to be visible below the cut plane. And the cut plane is showing right here at four feet off the floor. That's normal. But everything above it, it's kind of getting in my way. And if I look, I can turn those things off. So let's take a look at this plan. I'm gonna um, move things a little bit so that we can see them a little bit better, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to hit cancel on that. I'm gonna get this stair here. I'm gonna just tighten up stuff a little. There we go. There we go. You guys see the stair now. I'm gonna turn things off systematically so you can watch what goes off as I do it. So I'm gonna hit VG on the keyboard, and I'm going to come over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring this thing over so we can watch it happen. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down to stairs and expand it again. There we go. All right. This first one, it says, wait for it. Let's just see what it says. Mm -hmm. Cut marks. This is not, um, we've got a cut mark here and I don't wanna turn that off, okay? What I wanna do is turn off the nosings, okay? That's be the first thing. So I want you to watch over here. When I check this box and hit apply, the nosings go off. Okay, that's one less piece of garbage in my way. Now, how about the individual risers? I don't need those on. So I'm gonna click the riser lines and apply. Boop, they're gone. Now we've only got a couple more things on. I've got supports on the edge. And if I had a support in the middle, kind of like a center support for a really wide stair, but right now I've just got channels on the sides or wood on the sides that is the support. So I'm going to click that and I want to turn those off. Apply, Boop, they're gone. Now this is looking good. This is a lot cleaner, but it's not gone yet. There, the outline shows where my stairs are and where my landing is. You can see that line. That's the break from the stair to the landing and then from the landing back to more stairs. But I don't need that outline on, so I'm gonna uncheck it. Apply, bam, it's gone. So now I have a clear floor space almost for my lobby seating and my, my door going out. But the problem here is I've got a railing in the way, and so, Let's scroll up to railings. It's unfortunately, it's not right here with stairs. That would be nice. I'm gonna come up here to railings and expand it. And it just so happens that to get this railing turned off here, I'm gonna to have to turn off above railings cut line, which is kind of a dumb thing. You'd think I would turn off hand railings or top railings. But when I turn off those two, and I hit apply, it doesn't go off. Ah, look, I didn't write the program, okay? Those, that goes off when you uncheck this one, railings, cut line, okay? So uncheck that box and hit apply, the railing goes away. So now you've got yourself a clear floor space so that you can walk right over to the door now, hopefully I didn't cram the door up underneath the stair too far that hmm, I'm, I'm bad on headroom. 
that I would have to rearrange my stair or maybe make my door a little bit further over to the right over here so that the stair clears it before you actually exit. Anyway, that my friends is about the shortest, easiest um, rather tip I've ever made. But some people don't know that those lines above you on the stair can be turned off. And now you know. So go turn those off. Maybe turn off everything except just the outline. Sometimes that cleans up the plan plenty. You don't have to turn the whole thing completely off. But I just want you to be aware of where those settings are so that you can make your plans look nicer and more clear for the contractor to build it. All right, man. I think that's it. So for now, you have a fantastic day. Until we meet again, happy riveting. All right, bye-bye.